Hey my beautiful family and friends and everybody new, welcome to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, that means a lot to me, be part of Didi family and we have honesty here, we have some fun and uh, trying some new and reviewing old products. Today I'm here to review the new Butter Believe foundation and concealer for all skin types, skin types from Physicians Formula. This is the packaging. I have it in one shade and this is light clear. Clear, light clear. And I think this is going to be a good match. I'm also having in front of me right now two palettes that I just re just got from Colourpop. This is the Star Wars Mandalorian, the child palette, and also your golden from Colourpop. I think I'm going to go for this today. Okay, I bought this when it launched, came four days ago. It needed many weeks for it to arrive. And I also purchased the Cherry Collection. I have no idea when that will arrive, but that will come in on my channel if you want to see that review about the full collection. Okay, so I'm here for the foundation, but I am going to use this palette too, just for fun. So let's zoom in and let's stop. I'm going to go in with Cover FX uh, Gripping Primer. I somehow really enjoy using gripping primers, especially the milk one, and also I like this one. Somehow it just makes everything look so much better on the skin. This is a little bit thicker than the milk, but it really works. So I'm going to go in with this foundation. It says just for all skin types. I have no idea. I'm going to put the information here on the screen, uh, what it's supposed to do, because I don't have it in front of me. So you can read it while I'm applying it. I also am going to go in with the Cash Cosmetics sponge. Put a pump or two. It's kind of liquidy. I have that typical um, physician's formula scent. And let's go in. Okay, in my mirror. I think the shade is okay. I'm going to go with the sponge on this side, and I do want to try a brush on the other side though. Well, this is going on really good. It looks like my skin, though it gives me a luminosity that I don't know if I really appreciate because I do have oily skin, but the coverage is amazing. It's definitely more on that full coverage side. I can still see some imperfections, but I think that can be built up. Let's go with the brush, and I'm using the Cash Beauty brush, foundation brush. It definitely goes on nice with the brush too, but I think I prefer this foundation with a sponge. So I'm going to go over with the sponge and just correct everything. So this is a definitely a light formula of uh, or a light foundation it has that kind of a light feeling to it, and reminds me of Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Though it's not the same coverage, but it's very light on the skin and goes into the skin beautifully. I'm going to just use one more pump to see if I can just a small pump. If see I can be, if I can build it up in certain places on the face. Yeah, coverage definitely buildable. So definitely medium to full coverage. I do like it. I really like how this looks on my skin. It's not matte, but it doesn't actually give me too much shine, which I like. I don't like very shimmery or shiny foundations. I'm going in with concealer with my Joa Truly Yours. I 
This foundation is playing very nice with this concealer too. It's blending like a dream. This looks flawless. I love, love, love. It minimizes my pores too. And that's the foundation. Because I can't find my uh, pore primer from Tarte that I love using. I have no idea where I put it. And I'm going in um, with powder. This is the airspun powder to set the concealer. So I did set everything with a lot of powder and my face looks very smooth. It looks now mad because I did apply a lot of powder on top of the face, but I really like how it looks. I'm going to let this sit a little bit before I go in with bronzer, but I do want to use my um, Glam Light eyeshadow base. And while eye base is sitting on, I'm going in with the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzer Powder. Going in with Cash Beauty's brush number one. I'm also taking the Cash Beauty number three blush brush and go in with Dior's Num coral blush, backstage coral blush. Jacqueline Hill highlighter palette. I'm going in with this shade up here that's called Glam with the finger. Using the Sigma color and shape brow powder duo using also Cash Beauty's number 11 brush and spoolie duo also going in with nude stick brow boost and set gel So now we can go in with this palette. This palette looks really beautiful. Many natural shades. And look at these colors. Going in with Cash Beauty's brush number six. And I'm going in with Cruz, this shade here. Going in with Cash Beauty number eight brush. And I think I want to go in with Private Beach, this shade here. And I use this to deep up my crease, but I'm actually also going a little bit above the crease because I have very hooded eyes. So I'll try to create another crease. So I am going to go in and use another smaller brush from Cash Beauty and it's from the new collection. I have no idea what name it is, but it's a very small blending brush. And I do want to go in with this dark um, cover up brown shade, this here, to deep up the outer corner. Going in with another of Cash, Cash Beauty's brushes, no name, but it's a blending brush. Going in our first shade that we had, Cruise, and just, you know, blending the edges a little bit more. I'm going in with my finger in this shade, Salty. It looks like a champagne pink shade. I don't know, it's really interesting. I haven't seen this shade in Colourpop before, so I'm going in with that. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, this palette is very pigmented and I have to say really beautiful. On the eyes, this color is more like champagne, uh, more that bright color. It's not as pink as in 
the palette but it still looks really good I'm just taking without adding more shade and blending they just I'm really liking a little bit of fallout uh, it's powdery but doesn't actually bother me I really like the pigmentation in this palette it's much better than I thought it would be I love 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 it so I do want to go in and go with the Covet, Covet, I don't know, this shade here and blend it on the lower lash line and using also, also a small blending brush from Cash Beauty from the new color trip collection they don't have any numbers or names on the brush itself but I don't have the card anymore and I'm going to go in in this first shade that I can't pronounce it's though very powdery I don't know if you can see but I mean it never bothers me that a palette has a kickback I love this look it looks very romantic this is this palette is perfect for, for weddings really love this palette I'll definitely pay, play with play with it more but I'm going to set everything. I go in with oil control matte fixing spray from Catrice. I have just a little bit left of it. Let's put some mascara. I'm going to use L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara. I'm not putting any eyelashes on, but I'm going in with K Cosmetics Eye Brightener. I can't do it like this. I'm sorry guys, but I need to come very close to my mirror. And I'm going in with Rebecca Stella's No Gut Lipstick. This is it. I'm going to go fix my hair, so off camera. But this is the makeup. Let's see. It's now 13.23. It's It was around 50 minutes past 1 p.m. when I applied this foundation. So let's just say 1.30. Can we? Okay, good. Uh, it looks really good. I love how my makeup looks. I'm so surprised that it looks like my skin. It looks perfect. It smoothed out a lot of my um, pores. And I think all makeup, the whole makeup looks today awesome. I think it looks so soft. Like I'm ready, ready for... Uh, party or for a wedding or something I don't know I just really like how it looks um, maybe I applied a little bit too much powder because my wrinkles here are very vis visible but let's just <coughs> worry for that for another day but I really love how my makeup looks today go fix my hair because my hair looks like a mess uh, but yeah that's it guys we'll uh, do a check-in at the end of the day and see how this foundation will all last on my oily skin i'm kind of excited i find some good foundations this month and if you haven't checked out other um, videos where i review other foundations and um, you need to check them out on my channel but see you soon hi guys and welcome back now i've been having this foundation on it's 7.30 so I've been having this foundation on for about 6-7 hours and let's just check it out how it looks I haven't touched up I haven't done anything I've been outside I look very good I think the foundation looks very very good I'm very impressed with the foundation as I've been trying lately I think they look really good and then I think I start to get a little bit of shine but still it looks like that radiant foundation it doesn't look heavy um, yeah I think it looks good of course it doesn't look good where I had my glasses on but everything else looks very nice and smooth looks like I just apply my makeup yeah I just settled here in this line that I have over here but everything else looks really really good um start a little bit to wear off here on the chin like all of the foundations do after a couple of hours but otherwise everything looks good or rest of the makeup looks good it haven't 
removed any of the blush or the bronzer so I really love this foundation the Butter Believe It foundation for all skin types new from Physicians Formula so that's a really good foundation now I'm going to get eat some dinner and remove this makeup because I'm getting tired so that's why I do this I end this video here at this time of during the day it's I need to edit a couple of videos I need to get up today so yes guys that was everything please let me know down below if you tried this one from Physicians Formula is there any other foundation that you like let me know down below guys and there will be new foundations up soon. I'm red on my chest, it's because I got a little bit sunburned yesterday, so that's why I'm red. It's just a little bit too much sun. But yeah guys, let me know down below if uh, there is anything else you want me to try out. Of course there'll be more foundation reviews on my channel, CC BB creams, I promise I have them here, I just need to film videos and reviews. Guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.